so I just want to give, um, I just want to say thanks to everybody who supported it. And I think it was beyond worthwhile. So I guess this is the video that um, they chose. Sure.
Yeah, we passed the Museum of Art, which was under construction, and there's the U.S. Embassy. And then we um, ended up in Parliament, back uh, in front of the field there. And that's me. <laughs> and then they kind of sent us on a bit of a scavenger hunt to find like locations. They asked how many stairs there were connecting lower and higher at Ottawa, and uh, what a bunch of these different monuments around the whole area. <laughs> so we so we kind of traveled around in groups. And then we went back to probably. <laughs> and then uh, the second day, um, we got to tour and sit in the House of Commons, and that's just outside of Parliament there. And then this is just as the tour is beginning. The really cool ceilings there. And then that's the Senate. We weren't allowed to sit in there, but we got to see. <laughs> And then we, uh, they let us uh, sit in the House of Commons, and we can choose where we sit, but uh, someone else from Edmonton had taken our MP. And we heard from the clerk, the speaker, and some of the pages as well. And that was a neat uh, sculpture, I thought. And then after that, we went um, we went to the University of Ottawa, and uh, we sat in this kind of theater room where we heard the the Dutch and Korean ambassadors happened to be there, and they got to speak to us about a bunch of issues and different. Um, and then we heard from. Uh, several Canadian diplomats that were in duty. I think the guy who was speaking there was the, um, he was in the military relations department, and then the other two were in communications, so. And the third day, uh, we started at the University of Ottawa, and we had a tour from there. So we basically went through campus, and we saw all the different uh, buildings, which was really cool. And that's the world, like, I'm pretty sure that's one of the world's largest plants. And they breeze the air through it and actually cleans it. And then, as you can see from the last ones, it was an overcast day and it was kind of raining, but the second we walked out, it like opened up. It was really neat. <laughs> and that is Maven, which is in front of the Museum of Art. And he's like the world's largest spider, too. And then day four was a bit of a, well, a bit of a half day because some people had to leave depending on their schedule. Some people um, got to stay on another day until their train left. But the Citizens Corp was, um, it, it was quite interesting because we got to see the actual judge and the um, process of civilizing the citizenship going on. And then that's where we spent most of our day, where um, the farewell luncheon was. Well, and I really like its architecture. So then they selected um, well 13 different representatives to speak from each province there and just say how it changed them and how they got affected. And uh, there's the um, whole administrator, the Julia speaking there. And then that's the view from the conference center, which was really neat. And then um, my flight didn't leave until, I believe, 7. So we had some time to just go around, and we uh, got to visit and tour the mall as well. And then the plane ride back home at 7. And yeah. And then technically, I think I returned May 2nd, because the time change made it about 1 o'clock. So some things that I, I found were just being able to explore Ottawa because it's, I find visiting a new city means like you can see um, different similar concepts from like Victoria and Ottawa, but being able, like each city has its own different um, layout and personality to it. And I think Parliament was also really um, 
it, we've all seen it in our social textbooks, but being able to actually sit in the House of Commons was, um, I guess, interesting too. So I think um, being able to meet and collectively talk to all the other representatives from Canada students means that like we don't have to talk per se formally, but we're we're able to exchange ideas back and forth and how they live and how we live, like talking to someone from call it and they don't live in Igloos there as well. So and then it's it's neat to exchange different personalities too. And I didn't, and I wasn't able to have a beaver tail, and that's one thing that was changed. <laughs> yeah, just thanks, thanks once again. It was really good. Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks again, Aaron. Yeah, thanks.